Hi there, this is Miss Adriel from the Sebastopol Library, and I'm here to bring my story time from my home to your home through the Sonoma County Library's YouTube page. And we're gonna sing songs together and read books and spend some time having fun and talking about shapes today. Are you ready? Hello everybody, how are you? I'm fine. Hello everybody, how are you? I'm fine. I'm from the library today to read stories, sing and play. Hello everybody, how are you? I'm fine. Today we're going to read Walter's Wonderful Web by Tim Hopgood and it is published by um, Farrah Strauss Griot, which is a Macmillan company, which is why we get to share it with you today. Here's Walter. Walter wished he could spin a perfect web, just like his friends. But Walter's webs weren't perfect. They were wibbly wobbly. And when the wind blows, wibbly wobbly webs always blow away. But Walter was determined. What does that word mean, determined? It means he wanted to keep trying. He wasn't ready to give up. So one simple mor so one morning he decided to start with something simple. Very carefully he made a small web in the shape of a. Do you know that shape? That's right, it's a triangle. Look how proud Walter is. Whoosh went the wind and it blew the web away. Walter started again. This time he made a bigger web in the shape of a, do you know that shape? That's right, it's a square. Whoosh went the wind and it blew the web away. Walter sighed, started again. This time he made a longer web in the shape of a, do you recognize that shape? That's right, a rectangle. But whoosh went the wind and it blew the web away. Walter sighed and he stretched his legs and made a taller web in the shape of a diamond. Whoosh, whoosh went the wind blew that web away too. Perhaps my webs should be more round, thought Walter. So he climbed up and down. He twisted and twirled. Would this be Walter's first perfect web? Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh went the wind. Poor Walter hit the ground with a bump. Walter was tired and upset. He felt like giving up. But as the sun went down, he thought about all the different shapes he had made. And all at once, he knew just what to do. So he took a deep breath and set to work. Whoosh went the wind, but it didn't stop Walter or his web, not this time. And as the stars came out, Walter's web shone in the moonlight. It was better than perfect. It was a truly wonderful web. Do you see all the shapes that Walter practiced when he was making his other webs? I see circles and triangles. I see diamonds and rectangles and squares. Even though Walter had a hard time and had to try over and over and over again to get his web to stay, he did not give up because he was determined and he felt really resilient about trying new things even though they didn't always work. And eventually all his practice made something that turned out wonderful, truly beautiful and very sturdy that he was able to live in and probably catch some delicious bugs. Do you know what song I like about spiders? I like the song about the itsy bitsy spider. And here's how I make my itsy bitsy spider. I put my forefinger up and my thumb out and my other forefinger down and my thumb up. And then I make this kind of rectangle square shape. Can you make that shape with your fingers? 
the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. That was wonderful. I love singing together with you about the itsy spitsy spider. Now I have a game about shapes. Do you remember the game we played with the mouse in the house? Today I have a mouse hiding behind one of these shapes. I have a blue square, a blue trapezoid, a yellow rectangle, an orange circle, a red triangle, an orange circle, a green circle. <laughs> I have a blue square, a blue trapezoid, a yellow rectangle, a green circle, a red triangle, and a white star. Little mouse, little mouse, are you hiding behind the red triangle? Nope. Little mouse, mouse little mouse. mouse. Are you hiding? Are you hiding behind the blue square? The blue square. Oh, that was a good guess, look there he is. You wanna play again? Yeah. Yeah, let's play again. Okay, I'm gonna mix it up. I have a blue trapezoid. I have a yellow rectangle. I have a green okay. circle. I have a blue square. I have a red triangle, and I have a white star. Little mouse, little mouse, are you hiding are you behind hiding the green circle? The green circle? No. Little, little mouse, little, little mouse, 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 are you, you hiding, hiding behind the, the yellow rectangle? The yellow rectangle? No. Little, little mouse, mouse, little, little mouse, mouse, are you hiding behind the red triangle? Red triangle? <gasps> You found that little mouse hiding in those shapes. We're gonna sing our goodbye song. It was so lovely joining, having you join me for story time today. Are you ready to sing our goodbye song together? We're gonna sing The More We Get Together. Are you ready? The more we get together, together, together. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more, the more we, we get, get together, the happier we'll be. Thank you, my good friends. I hope that you join us soon through our live Zoom story times, which you can find on our website at sonomalibrary.org on our events page. You can join us here on YouTube. Every week we put out new um, story times that we can share together. You can also find us on Instagram at scl.kids.read where all of your children's librarians come together to make book lists and sing stories and share with you all the fun stuff we're finding. Have a great day. Bye-bye.